when looking at different conjugations of formal usted commands, the right place, uh, of formal usted commands, we will see or have seen, depending on which videos you have watched first, um, we will see that there are regular verbs for formal usted commands. There are stem change verbs. There are spell change verbs. There are cargar verbs, etc. And so this is just a quick little video to remind you that there are also irregular verbs. If you have already watched it, I said in a prior video, some students think that, for example, uh, cargar verbs or um, stem change verbs or spell change verbs just because they're weird or they have some special rule or there's some weird change in spelling or things so act like like a regular verb that they will all of a sudden be irregular and that is absolutely not the case. So please listen to this. There are only a handful of irregular verbs that you must memorize or you just have to memorize with formal usted commands. Any other verb that acts weird or looks weird or it looks like it has a special rule or something like that, it's not an irregular verb. It fits into another category. It's a sim change or a spell change where car guards are or whatever. The definition of and uh, of what kind of verbs are irregular verbs with formal usted commands are literally the ones with which you cannot start off with the yo conjugation of the present tense and then go from there. So again, with everything else that you will see with car guards, verbs, and stem change and spell change and whatever, we have three steps or so, and we say we start off with the yo box of the present tense, and then we drop the o, and we add opposite endings. And so none of those are considered to be irregular because there's a way to get from the yo conjugation of the present tense as our starting point to, if we just follow the steps, to the appropriate conjugation of our formal usted command. So things that I have up here on the wall behind me, that's not the case. The only, there is, a, we have no steps. There's no step one, step two, step three to get there. The only way that you will know how to do these formal usted commands is by simply memorizing them. So there are two acronyms, one that your materials focus on and then one that I just wanted to throw out at you. So your, um, your most of your class materials and the verbs that are going to come out of the most op um, most often that are irregular uh, formal usted commands are dar, ir, ser, and saber. So some students uh, memorize the acronym dis, d i s s. They memorize the ac acronym dis just to help them to remember what are my irregular verbs as formal usted commands. So just really quickly, um, by the way, are there more than this? Yeah, I'm gonna show them to you in just a second, but these are the ones that you will see most often. And if I were only going to memorize four, these would be the four that I would memorize for the purposes of our class, but there are only two more and might as well, but this is like the bare minimum. These have to be memorized because they're common. So dar, meaning to give, if I were giving a command to somebody, then I would say, for example, give me the book. Um, I remember formal or set command. I would say, de me, one word, de me el libro. Um, so de, D-E with an accent. I don't know if you can see that very well or not, but it's D-E, they with an accent. They is what you need to memorize as the irregular um, formal usted command for the verb dar, to give. Ear, to go, the irregular formal usted command is vaya, V-A-Y-A. So, ear means to go. If I just wanted to, in a polite, courteous, respectful way, using a formal command, wanted to say to somebody, go to the store or whatever, I would say, vaya. Ser, 
is one of our ways to say to be, you know, it's there and it's dark and it's to be. So this would be something like be a good person, right? Ser is one of our to be. I could give somebody a polite, courteous, formal, respectful, maybe um, come in and I could say be a good person and it would be sea. It is um, spelled S-E-A. And then last but not least, for the bare minimum of the irregulars to memorize is the verb saber. We remember we have two ways to say saber in Spanish. Saber, I mean, two ways to say to know. Saber is to know things, stuff, facts, information. And then we have conocer, and um, that's like to know people, or to get to know. Um, so saber, to know, if I say to, I look at a student and in a respectful, polite, courteous way, but I give them a command and I say, know all your irregular verbs and usted commands, I would say to them, sepa, S-E-P-A. That feels weird to us sometimes because we see a B right here, but please memorize that it is Sepa. So the four bare minimum, just gotta memorize them, formal said commands would be de, vaya, sea, and sepa, coming from the verbs dar, ir, ser, and saber. Dar to give, ir to go, ser to be, saber to know. So that would be the bare minimum. And remember I said if, if it works for you, people have told me they memorized D-I-S-S, -S, the acronym DIS, to help them memorize the regular, bare minimum, informal, usted command. If we wanted to get all of them for you, then it would be the acronym DISHES. The ones that I have left blank are the ones that you already see over here. So it would be DAR, like you saw over there, EAR, like you saw over there, this right here and this right here, the two S's would either be ser or saber, like you saw over here. But in case you would like to memorize dishes instead, there are only two other ones, your um, materials, and don't focus on these two verbs as formal usted commands very often. And they are very honestly not as common as the other four that I just talked to you about, but I just wanted you to at least have access to them, have seen them in case they come up somewhere. So, haber is what the H stands for. Haber is actually a helping verb or an auxiliary verb that you will see um, sometimes in Spanish, and it happens to be haya, H-A-Y-A. It will be very seldom that you will see it this semester. But if we were to have a different textbook or something like that, the textbook that we used to use, it was very frequent because we did other grammar tenses that we don't do um, anymore, but we may do in the future or whatever. So, but it, it is an irregular formal said command, so I at least wanted you to see it. And then another one that I have never understood really why they have it, put it over here in kind of the common list, is not as common, but it's not as uncommon as this. Um, the, <clears throat> the E would stand for the verb estar because both ser and estar are irregular formal usted commands. And estar um, is spelled E-S-T-E. And there's an accent mark on that last E, so you need to put some oomph in our voice behind that. And it would be pronounced este. If I wanted to say, be here when I get home, because remember, <clears throat> ser is to be for more permanent things, like when I say, be a good person. But estar is to be for more temporary things. So if I said, be here when I get home, maybe I could say, este. And remember, accent mark over that E. So if you would like to memorize just these four, they'll probably be pretty okay, honestly. And if you want to memorize one more and memorize a star as a formal usted command, that would be beneficial. And if you think to yourself, 
Well, it's just easier to remember dishes and go ahead and memorize that one too. Go for it. But I just wanted to, instead of just telling you, hey, memorize the regulars, just wanted to do a kind of short video to go over them with you. So these are the only irregular formal Usen commands, and they just have to be memorized. And any other verb, whether it's stem change or spell change or cargoes are or whatever, is not irregular. It has its own category. These behind me are the irregular verbs that you must memorize for formal Usen commands. And before I turn this video off, um, please memorize these now and retain retain them because it'll be like a buy one get one free later later on in Spanish in our class we're going to be looking at something called the subjunctive tense and it just so happens that all of the same verbs all of the verbs that are irregular as formal usen commands <clears throat> are also irregular in this tense called the subjunctive so if you learn them memorize them and read retain them now then you won't have to re-memorize them whenever we get to another grammar point because they're in the exact same verbs and look exactly the same honestly so hopefully you can memorize them now for now and retain them for later